Facebook settings. It contains options for protecting your account with the help of which you can control who is able to access it, see your posts and the visibility of the various other elements of your account. You will see an arrow next to the quick help button. Click on this arrow and then click on the settings option. The general account settings window will open up. On the right side of this window, you will see some options related to your Facebook account management. General settings. The first option you see here is general settings. This settings option shows the name on your Facebook profile. Click on the edit button if you want to change your name. Type in the new name in the first, middle and last name boxes. In case you want to add another name, then click on the Add Other Name button. Your new profile window will open up. In this window, you can see a section called About You, in which you will find the Other Names section. In this section, the first option you can see is Name Type. Click on the arrow given, select the name type and then type in your desired name in the given box. Just below this, you can preview how this name will appear in front of your Facebook name. To save this name, click on the Save Changes button. Everyone will now see your name exactly like this on your Facebook profile page. The second option you will be able to see in general account settings is username. With this option, you get a unique username from Facebook. To get a unique username, click on the edit button and type in the desired username in the given box. If no other Facebook account holder is using that username, then you will see a message saying, Username is available. Click on the Save Changes button and you will get this username for your Facebook account. Provide this username to convey or inform your Facebook account to others. It becomes easier for them to search your account with this username. Further, you will see the contact option. It displays either your email ID or your phone number as a primary contact. Facebook uses this option to communicate with you. That is, Facebook uses this primary mode of contact to provide you important information about your account. If you want to add any new contact details in your account, then click on the Edit button next to Primary you will find the add another email or mobile number link right below primary contact. Click on this link and the add another email window will open up. Type in your new email ID in the box in the front of the new email tab. Next, if you want to add your mobile number, then click on the link add your phone number. A confirm your phone number window will open up. The first option in this window is for selecting your country code. Click on the code for India available in the list in front of country code. Then feed your mobile number in the box provided in the front of the phone number tab. Facebook will verify your new phone number. To complete this verification successfully, Facebook gives you an option of send me a text in the confirm number by window. This means that Facebook will send a text message to your new mobile number. Click on the continue button to receive this message. After you receive the text message, you will see a window saying number confirmed in your Facebook account like this. Click on the OK button.
for adding your new email ID. Once you tap on OK, a window like this will appear on the screen for you to enter your email address. Type your email address in the input box against new email and click on the add button. Now, you will have to type your Facebook password to get your new email address added. A window called please re-enter your password will appear on your screen where you can feed your password. Type in your Facebook account password in the password text box and click on the submit button. To add this email ID as a contact in your Facebook account, Facebook will send an email to this new address with a link. Open the email and click on the link. Only after you do this will your new email ID be added to your Facebook account contact. The last option available in the general account settings is of manage account. If you click on this, then you will see an option called your legacy contact. This contact is of that person who can continue and manage your Facebook account in case of an eventuality to you or after your demise. If you want to add this contact, then type his or her name in the choose a friend box and click on the add button next to the name. Immediately, a window saying message or name about being your legacy contact will open up. Once this opens, what needs to be done is a message needs to be sent from Facebook to this friend. To do this, click on the send button. This message will now get sent to your friend and a message sent window will be displayed on the screen. Click on OK to go back to the settings window. Below this option, you can find another one to delete your Facebook account which is called Deactivate Your Account. In order to deactivate your account, you have to click on this blue text link that says Deactivate Your Account. To ensure that you are deleting your own account, Facebook will verify this action by asking your account password. You will need to type your password in the given box and click on continue. Your Facebook account will be deactivated.